in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to call a function on Arduino application. So first of all, of course, you'd like to go and download Arduino if you don't have it on your PC. Of course, you can do that through any browser you could be using. Uh, it could be like Brave, Opera, Google Chrome, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, or any other browser you could be possibly using. Then, you would like to go and, of course, of course, you can download the license version if you want. You can download uh, the version that I'm using, which is 1.8.1, .1, or any other version suits you or work great for you, because this tutorial will work for any version. So, let's use an example you already downloaded. Just go open it. That will be actually your home or your main screen on the Arduino application. So, if you want to actually, like, call a function, you'd like to have a function first. So, let's just make a function. So, for me, I'd like to make my functions before the void setup. So, let's, uh, how you, first of all, make a function is by just uh, do this void and name it whatever you want. So, let's say, name it... Uh, Maybe name it uh, X, Y, Z. Then, of course, you would like to do this and this. And do this, sorry, this and this. And the code of this function will be here. So, of course, let's say we will do here like this will be our code. And let's say you are writing your code now as the void loop or void setup. Of course, all good. So if you want to call a function, all you need to do, just type the name of it. So for me, my name is XYZ. Then, of course, you would like to uh, uh, follow it by opening and closing parentheses. So just do this and this. And here you are. You actually called the function here. And it's uh, this code right here will be executed. So, finally, terminate the statement that's called the function with this semicolon, of course. Uh, which is, we need to add this. And, of course, uh, load the sketch to an Arduino. And then open the terminal window to see if everything is working great. So, of course, let's just, like, verify this. And, of course, yeah. They're telling me that it's not declared because this is not a code, this is just random stuff. So, that's all we actually for this tutorial, I hope you like it. Thank you guys for watching, goodbye.